Hi everyone, so in this video I want to talk about art style because I have I have kind of changed the way I think about it over the last few years and as I improve and draw more and develop my own style more and I want to talk about why you don't need one art style and also you don't need to chase an art style because usually it just finds you and it's not something you actually need to concern yourself with too much. It can be something that you focus in on, but you don't have to. It just depends on how you want to approach art. And I just kind of want to talk about some of the stuff that I've been thinking about in terms of art style. I see a lot of young artists um, or beginner artists, or like I even used to kind of be like this, where they want one consistent style where you look at all their art and you think like, oh, that person drew this. Or they want all their art to kind of like have some kind of cohesion to it. And you don't necessarily need this, I think. You definitely might not want to do completely different stuff all the time, but usually even if you use a different medium or draw a different subject matter, it's gonna end up still looking like something that you made because of your like own voice. When I was a beginner artist, I was I went through like phases where I really tried to force my style and I tried to and I tried to teach myself like new styles and really like push my art in a different direction. And I don't think this is a bad thing because it's good to have awareness of how your art looks and want to improve in a certain direction. But I think I was like obsessing over it too much and like agonizing over um, my art not being perceived a certain way. And like, I didn't want my art to be seen as anime. I wanted it to be like, semi-realistic and I was like trying to push so hard for different styles and then and then I kind of realized like I don't like drawing this way I really don't enjoy this and once I started to embrace like a cartoony simple look that's when I started to become more happy with my art and that's because that's what felt most natural for me to want to draw and I tried to force myself to not draw very simple because I thought that you know you have to prove to people that you can draw really complicated and and cool things but you don't have to prove anything to anybody and you can draw however you want when you embrace what your hand wants to make and then really like lean into that and try to develop that instead of trying to push something else onto your art you'll be a lot happier and in the end your style or like your voice will be more like original it'll be more true to like who you are as an artist. So basically what I'm saying is I think that styles happen naturally and you have to just find what inspires you in life, the world around you, um, what kind of stories you want to tell through your art and other artists' work. And you, you kind of pull little pieces from that naturally in your subconscious and then you might be like, today I want to try drawing a mushroom because I saw an artist draw a mushroom in a cool way and I want to try to see how I do it. And then you might be like, oh, I just found some like new technique and then you bring that into your future illustrations. So many little things go into your style that as you're drawing and practicing and developing your like technical skills, your style just happens naturally alongside it. And I don't think it's something you have to chase after. Because from experience, once I stopped thinking about like, what's my style? What's my style? I need a style. Um, I just kind of started to draw whatever came naturally because I was sort of like encouraged to do that in my like illustration program. My um, professor was like, so I noticed that you kind of like to draw like cuter things. So I think you should like really lean into that. And if you draw something cute, see if you can make it even cuter. And if you draw something like colorful, like can you make it even more colorful? And just like, he just like pushed me towards my style more. And I was like, this is so interesting that I'm being like told to embrace the thing that I, that I naturally want to do and that I thought like I shouldn't do. Like I shouldn't draw things too cute all the time, but there's nothing wrong with that. You, you can do whatever you want. And if you don't know what that is, if you don't know like what the natural thing is for you, you should just continue to draw and work on your skills and improve your like fundamentals and draw from photos, from references, from real life and get better at drawing. Because if you're like a beginner with drawing, a lot of things are going to look different. There's going to be like inconsistencies and you shouldn't expect your work to look consistent at all. But even in the beginning, 
there will be a particular way that you draw and you might not be able to see it, but other people will see it. And as you improve, that will naturally become more and more obvious. And just make sure you expose yourself to lots of different artists and see what other people are doing and that might naturally influence you in some way towards the things that you already like to see and then you might start to see it in your art. And also, another point of this video is it's okay to have more than one style and it's actually a really good thing to be able to draw things differently to suit different purposes. So, for instance, I have a lot of different sort of styles, but I kind of call them like, I would call them more like mediums or like genres. I don't really know if that makes sense, but one style is how I draw in my sketchbook. Very loose, very sketchy, colorful, lots of scratchy lines. That's like my sketchbook style. And then if I'm doing traditional paintings on paper, it's softer, it's more tight, controlled. Um, it's usually watercolor and it's pretty loose. And when I paint digitally, um, it can go from anywhere to like blocky brush loose textures to more tight line art and less of a traditional texture. So it looks different than my paintings. The paintings that I'm doing in this video are Patreon originals. So I send out little mini originals to people and those always have like a loose, um, soft watercolor sort of feel to them unless I tighten up a little bit, but all of those are more loose natural textures. And if I'm drawing enamel pins for my store, the line weight is very consistent, blocky colors. There's usually only like four or five colors and the lines have to all connect. They have to be a certain thickness. You have to draw a certain way to make that work. When I'm doing stickers, I do complete line art, um, very solid colors. I try to make sure that they pop and will look nice from a distance because stickers are kind of like stuck on things. And I like the way they look when, when the lines are a little bit thicker than my normal art. And there's just so many different things that I need to make art for that each one has its own approach. And you can still tell that I drew all these things. They're just done in a different way. And even though they might look different, it's still my like my own style that is making all of these all of these things. But if you still put them all side by side, it you can tell that they're made with different mediums. And you can call them different styles. Say if I drew like a realistic portrait that has its own style for me. That's like the, there's a certain way I do that. And then there's a certain way that I draw stickers and there's a certain way that I use watercolor and they all might look different from each other, but you might be able to tell that I did each one based on like the way the brush strokes look, the hatching, if that makes sense. Basically, you're gonna have your drawing style, which is the way you outline things, the actual lines you make to like describe objects, the way you draw forms and like represent something on paper, just the lines, that's going to be your own drawing style and you're going to have a certain way that you color things, the certain colors that you tend to use and you're going to have a certain way that you render the colors and that you add shading and texture and stuff like that and there's going to be certain ways that you compose images. There's so many factors that go into it that you don't even notice when you're doing. You might not even notice them yourself, but other people will notice them. And it's impossible to control every single aspect of this. So that's why I think it's better to let your style happen naturally and instead focus on what you want to draw and improving your skills and just make as much art as you can because the more you draw, the faster you're going to start to see like your own style come through. It's something that you like reveal to yourself as you draw more and more rather than something that you like force upon your, your yourself. I hope this kind of made sense. Um, I think in my previous videos I talked about like ways to find your style and I think there are ways that you can like you can influence your style like like very like like surface level things. Um, you can't really control like how you hold a pencil and like just like the the feeling that your lines give, but you can control like how you draw an eye or how you add highlights to things. There's very like surface level modifications you can make to your art, but I don't know if this is necessarily your like deeply rooted style that kind of comes through in everything. Like if I wanted to start drawing eyes with little with little notches in them, 
Um, or if I wanted to start drawing all the shines on the eyes as like a star shape, like anyone can do that. Um, I guess that's still like a style choice, but it's not like like your your own natural like voice that that kind of like ties all your art together. Like you can choose to draw very, very simplified blocky people with like tiny heads and big bodies and that that's a choice that anyone can make to draw like. Um, but the way that you draw that will be different from someone else. So there are certain things that you can choose to do in your art that will sort of like affect its like surface level look to it, which is a type of style, but there's going to be like specific ways that only you draw those things, if that makes sense. And if you're worried like, oh, I'm really unhappy with my art. I really don't like the way my art looks like my style. I don't like my style. My recommendation to you is to try to draw different things. Like if you're if you're drawing the same thing over and over and you're not happy with your art and you don't like you don't like the way that anything is turning out, what always helps me is to do something I'm not used to doing. So draw something that you normally don't draw. And at first you might think like, "Oh, I don't really want to draw this. This seems really unappealing to me." Just try it or try something that does seem appealing that you've been putting off. Trying new things or new art supplies just like introduce something new into your your art routine and it might spice things up so recently i've been doing some digital art and i've been really wanting to develop my digital art sort of style um because there is a certain way that i draw digitally but i wanted to make it more consistent and I wasn't really sure what to do because I feel like every time I draw digitally, it looks different, but I don't know if it does. So even I still think about this stuff. I think my problem is that I need to draw digitally more because each time I do it, I do it in a different way. I just like approach it differently because it's fun for me, but I think stuff ends up looking the same in the end and I'm not really sure, but I'm trying to not worry about it and let it just sort of sort itself out. Um, And lately I've been using watercolor brushes on my iPad and just like trying to do an entire piece with the watercolor and make it look like watercolor. And I'm really, I really enjoy doing that. And I'm, it, it makes me like excited to draw more stuff. Like I want to, I'm eager to do more paintings, which I haven't um, felt in a while. Like where I want to draw things, like I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to make paintings. And instead of like feeling an obligation to draw because I have to for Patreon or YouTube, like I want to do it for fun. Haven't found the time yet but I really want to um, just do it for myself and maybe like make them into prints because I want more more prints on my store. And I'm not sure what I want to draw, but I'm just really excited to keep exploring that specific style of working. And it's something that I thought would be too difficult to do to like use the watercolor brushes and maintain the texture because it's really easy to blend over stuff digitally and kind of like erase that natural texture that the brushes can give. But it, I was really focusing in on it and making sure that it still looked kind of like watercolor and adding back in some texture if it went away. And I realized this isn't that hard to do and it's really fun. And I really think I can push this more and do some cool stuff with it. So now I'm just really excited about that. And it's because I just made myself try a completely different approach than I normally do. Um, It might look the same as some of my other art, but the way that I was actually like coloring it in was a lot different from my normal workflow. And just changing that up completely can really open your eyes to like other possibilities that you didn't even realize um, can complement your 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 way of working and your style. I hope this was helpful. Don't stress about it too much. Just have fun making things and focus on drawing as much as you can and things will fall into place. Even if it doesn't right away, even if it takes a few months or a few years, just try to enjoy the process and draw as much as you can for the sake of enjoying it and explore new stuff if you can. Thanks so much for watching. I had fun doing these little paintings. They were originals for Patreon. It'll be too late to grab one now, but all the unsold ones will go on my store eventually, so maybe they'll be there. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.